Good evening. Leaders of our government, Honorable Samuel Nkomo, Vice President of the African Minister's Council on Water, Executive Secretary, African Minister's Council on Water, Honorable Ministers from across our continent, members of the Diplomatic Corps, participants at this third African Sanitation Conference, Mrs. or Miss, my, I want to refer to my sister, Miss Yvonne Chaka Chaka, a goodwill ambassador for hand washing in Africa, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I wish, first of all, to welcome our visitors to Rwanda and express my appreciation that our country was chosen to host this high-level conference. Your important discussions here will continue to raise awareness about the need for improved sanitation for our continent's people, and more importantly, to seek affordable and accessible solutions for higher standards of hygiene. I apologize, I, at the beginning I wasn't here to open this conference as uh, I should have, but uh, nonetheless, um, I have to do that by hosting you tonight and I appreciate that all of you have been here. I wish to thank the organizers also for this conference, for the award that our Prime Minister received on my behalf, and which is shared with all Rwandans in recognition of their collective commitment and participation to raise the quality their quality of life through better sanitation and hygiene. <laughs> Let me state from the outset that I believe that the Millennium Development Goals, including sanitation, are within Africa's reach and ultimately in our best interest. After all, we recognize that our goals, particularly with regards to sanitation, are not really new, but a restatement of what Africans have always held to be the right values. Why do I say they are within our reach, and yet evidence shows that many of our countries are behind schedule in attaining these MDGs. The answer is simple. We have not always owned the solutions to many of our challenges. We all know that no one should be constantly teaching us about the value of washing hands or about waste disposal. Equally, the connection between access to clean water, good hygienic habits, and improved health is well known. Those of us in the government understand very well the cost implications 
of poor sanitation. For instance, we know that the area which is caused by poor sanitation is the number two killer of children under five. We also know that the number of Africans without access to sanitation has increased by 190 million from 1990 to 2008. What we need, therefore, is continued investment in sanitation infrastructure as well as behavior change and the adoption and implementation of policies that reflect our values regarding clean, healthy living. We should be able to start sanitation initiatives, such as the provision of clean water or availability of toilet, toilets, clean and tidy neighborhoods without having to wait for outside support. I mean, Ari alone you are talking about how Kigali or other places in Rwanda are clean. The story really starts with the, uh, from a, a, a simple and clear point because we challenged ourselves and we are asking each other whether, because we need donors to support us in many things. But I kept wondering whether we needed the donor support to clean our hands or homesteads. <laughs> or... I don't need the donor's money to clean uh, in my backyard, uh, at home, my, inside my house. Do I? These are issues based on local realities and can only be sustainable if solutions come from the people who benefit from them in the first place. And so, while we acknowledge and appreciate the support of different partners, many of them represented here, the private sector, development partners, NGOs, and multilateral agencies ultimately, well, ultimately the responsibility for answers to our challenges must come from and be owned by us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are aware that challenges remain in attaining our sanitation goals. With only four years before the MDG's deadline, sanitation levels are still low in many of our countries. We still have a lot to work, a lot of work to do to harmonize our action plans. We have to come up with effective implementation and enforcement strategies. However, despite this, we must remain optimistic that we shall be successful, continuing to celebrate our achievements and draw from them the motivation to carry on. This calls for the commitment of everyone, primarily citizens and governments of our countries, but also our partners. No effort is too small to be significant, and our collective efforts will certainly make a very big difference. That's why I would like to thank Unilever, 
UNICEF, the World Bank, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and other agencies for their invaluable support towards better sanitation. We also commend Ms. Von Chaka Chaka for taking the hand washing message to the grassroots level. Again, by the way, I said, I mentioned to you, she's my sister, for real, she's my sister. <laughs> and thank citizens across our continent for responding to this call. It is these and similar efforts that will lead us to realizing our sanitation goals. I encourage us all to keep working hard and together in this direction. Let me conclude once again by wishing you a happy stay in our capital, in our country, and wish you an enjoyable evening. And for those visiting with us, a very pleasant continued stay in our country for as long as you would like. Thank you for your kind attention.